Greetings! So I made mention that I would potentially um, do a little bang trim thing, so it took me a little bit to try to figure out how to be able to do this with a mirror, because I don't, I'm not set up for doing online stuff, that's not who I am, so I don't have like ring lights and all this kind of stuff, and I normally cut my fringe at home if I do, um, I do it in the bathroom. So welcome, welcome to my bathroom, yay! Uh, so the first thing I did was I just blue dry my bangs, because you want to be, if you are going to do a little trim on your bangs, and emphasis on the word little, little, little trim on your bangs at home, um, you want to make sure that you do it dry hair bounces up. Um, you can see I've got actually quite a strong cowlick. It's popping right in the middle right now because that's how my hair naturally wants to go when length starts to come into it. So yeah, you can call me Farah really easily. It just like does it. <laughs> um, but I'm not wanting to grow my bangs out right now. So they have gotten quite long. I haven't done anything to them probably for, I don't know, probably about eight weeks, I would guess. Um, and so you can see that I normally have a little bit of an asymmetrical, like crooked kind of fringe. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this at home without all the stuff that, um, you know, I'm professional, so I've got all the things. So what I would say, make sure you've got a comb and a scrunchy thing. If you've got longer hair that you need to get out of the way um, and then small, sharp scissors if you can. That would be ideal. So sewing scissors, um, anything that has, sorry, as I lean out of frame, anything that has like a little bit of a, like just a narrower point. So these, you know, like they're, right? Like these are five and three quarter inches, but they are, yeah, you don't want anything really too much bigger than your hand. Um, smaller would be better. It's just easier to work with and things. So out of frame again, woo! -hoo! <laughs> uh, yeah, so wait, basically all you want to do, I'm going to try to make this under five minutes if I can, which probably won't work, but what you want to do is isolate whatever part is your fringe. So when you see me looking up, I'm actually, I'm standing in front of a mirror, so it's kind of, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, so I'm just going to pull my hair back. My fringe goes back quite far. It's very, very steep. There's a little hair there. Um, you know, I normally have pretty short layers and stuff up here, so I'm not too worried. So. Just get that hair that you don't want to be cutting out of the way. That's the most important thing. Um, the other thing is if your stylist has cut bangs in for you, follow what they've done. Don't try to pull all this kind of crazy hair from the sides in. Um, your hair actually, there is a hairline and from here to here is the hair that grows here. You don't want to, you start trying to make your bangs wider or whatever, fringe wider, then, then you start to get that weird thing that happens over here which most people have done to their children a couple of times. Um, yeah, so at this point, I've got a couple of choices. So, you know, if I was my client, I would maybe be like, okay, I'm not even gonna to attempt to try to put the shape that Karen has put in there before. Um, but this stuff here is obviously in my eye. So if I was a client, I would potentially just leave this as it is, because you can see there's actually a lot of room until it gets into my eye. And I would just try to nibble this part off and you know, just bring it up so that it's not in the eye. I'm gonna do a full, a full one on me just cause, you know, I can and I want to. <laughs> um, yeah, so comb, dry hair. This is what's called natural fall. So I literally just dried my bangs doing this back and forth with my hands. I'm really lucky they go quite smooth and shiny naturally, but I do have that pop in the uh, cowlick in through there. So if you know you have any crazy, weird, wonderful growth patterns around the front where your hair flings out and does all these kind of, oh, this is fun. <laughs> um, they will, uh, yeah, those can be a little crankier to deal with. So you may choose just to do the, uh, you know, twist them back and pin them and just wait, wait. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. So for myself, I always know that my, my point of shortness comes from working with, actually when I go like this, it's the second wrinkle. <laughs> Is that what I normally cut into? Um, yeah, so I pop my eye and I, you can see there's that line right there and I'm basically gonna follow that line over to there. So here we go. Um, pointers for doing, don't put like, don't open your scissors and then go in like this way and just close them. Because what you don't want to do at this point is try to create a really hard line. You want to just kind of nibble away. So you're going to keep your scissors this way. You're going to tip them a little bit this way or tip them a little bit this way. Oh, I've got coffee shakes, fun. 
it's almost lunchtime apparently. Oop. See, so there's a long piece that I don't want to cut, so I'm going to push that back. And then I'm going to start with where the, the longest part is. Or, well, not really the longest part. I'm just going to, I sort of, a lot of times for myself when I'm doing it on myself, it feels easier to start from the middle and to go out versus trying to go from one side all the way to here or one side all the way to here. It's just your body position. It's easier to put your hand here and go to here and your hand here to go to here than to start over. And it's just kind of like a weird, I don't know. And I'm just rambling now. I said five minutes and I'm already over it. He yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to look at the camera, and all I'm going to do, so you can see my angles, little, little angle, and I'm just going to close and just chip some stuff. I'm going to lean forward so it lands, in, right? So now I've taken a little bit off of that, and then I'm just going to, now if my hair swung the other way, I would maybe start at the other side and just, I hate having hair on my face and I have no idea how clients will sit there so still when I'm cutting their fringe and I can and all of a sudden I'm like super in my like fringe zone or whatever I'm styling it and all I can I look down all of a sudden and I can just see hair all over their face I'm like oh my god I'm so sorry okay so for this part um yeah I'm just gonna little bit by little bit and all the fun stuff that comes along with it as I try to talk and do my bangs and get hair in my mouth protein right yep and you just kind of keep doing this so if you were doing a straight fringe you would just do I, do, should I give myself a straight fringe no my hair doesn't do straight fringes but you would just be you would keep doing this kind of a motion and then you would do this kind of a motion you can Right? Or you can start over here if you wanted to, and you're just doing this kind of a motion across your face. And you shouldn't really feel like, if you look really closely at my nose, I'm not even sure if I can, there's like little tiny, tiny hairs. Like you should feel like it's like powder landing on your face versus actual like chunks of hair. I mean, I, some people can be really, they'll be really aggressive with their own bang cutting and it can be fun. I would recommend maybe if you're really conscious of what your bangs look like, do this in the morning, you know, when you're awake, not after a glass of wine has told you that it's a good idea. <sighs> All right. So a little bit of shape starting to happen. And it is, it's about like you push them around, you let them fall wherever they fall. And oh, look, there's a few more pieces. So I brought this up actually. More hair in my mouth. And it's in my eyes, I could feel it. Oh my God. I would not be uh, talking to myself. Well, maybe I would be talking to myself at this point. I'm talking to my plants and the birds in the backyard. Okay, so I can see that there's this, this little piece here. And all I'm going to do is I am going to take a little bit more off of that. <laughs> but you can see if you don't have scissors that have a little bit of sharpness to them, what would happen is you would end up like pushing the hair. Like it'll just kind of, uh, and you won't get anything going on. So super technical here. Yeah. And just keep working your way at it. Like I know this is going to be my shortest point, And then this piece comes down from there. And then just a little, little bit, you know, and then, I don't know, that's how I would train, would guide a client to do it at home. So if you had a straight fringe, there's kind of a straight fringe there, you know, you can put your hand in here and you just keep nibbling across just a little bit and try to stay, you know, within that range of just the hair. I'm going to be a little more aggressive here just because, you know, I can. Oh, see, this is what my hair does, is it moves around and then something like this comes and then I have to <laughs> cut it off because of my growth pattern. And as any of my stylist friends that have uh, had the pleasure of doing my bangs over the years or my fringe banging me over the years, they, uh, yeah, they know that it's like you could cut my bangs for probably 45 minutes, days. Actually, speaking of 45 days, that's how long it's been since I've done human hair or actually even had human contact which is kind of crazy 
think I was actually a little depressed over the last couple of weeks. I just had no motivation to do anything. And it's weird because everybody's telling, you know, like you've got like sort of the two, the two camps, it seems out there in the world of get everything done, exercise, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. So here I am, I'm being brave. I'm just gonna take a big chunk off of it. Ha! Ooh. This hair is falling into my sink so I can clean it up easily. <laughs> and of course my blow dryer is in my bedroom, not here. So yeah, now it's kind of busy, it's out of my face. And I'll just kind of keep chipping away. I have done this before where I have ended up with like, <laughs> my bag's so, so short. Um, cause I just kind of, yeah, I start doing this with it and then, yeah, there's another piece and another piece and another piece, but I do want this side a bit shorter over here. Yeah. But you can see like, basically I'm trimming my fringe, maybe a quarter of an inch at a time. So if you go, you know, small and steady and slow and steady, you can just kind of get it going. Now I want to do my whole hair and just keep going on a full haircut. And this is going to end up shorter because I'm feeling it. I don't want it on my eyebrow. <laughs> you know, like some people like their bangs so their fringe like right on their brow. Others it's got to be like way high. Others, you know. But by keeping your, the big thing is keep your don't cut this way, you're not going to get much out of it. Don't cut this way because you're going to take too much out of it. But if you just keep it on a light, like a diagonal and just like little, so I'm just like doing this kind of emotion. So the thing is, is that when you put the scissors into the hair, like up, like this way, have the scissors open and then close and pull it out at the same time. So you're closing your shear on the way out of the hair and that way you won't uh, hopefully take too, too much. Yeah, you can see how this stupid cowlick of mine. Both parents have cowlicks in my world. So, yeah, and then you know what? I honestly, I'd probably just leave it like this. Um, I may take it a bit shorter because again, my length, it pops like this, but I don't need to do that in front of you. Um, so there you go, 12 minutes, 13 minutes, fun. Hopefully that helps. Um, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, just get it out of your eyes. Like if you need, if you're going for a straight fringe and you end up with this, well then, yeah, then you might want to take that little bit off. But I had already gone higher there, so it's now out of my eyes and we're good to go. Love you all. Take care. Be kind. Be safe. Be responsible.